Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Hawkeye Bass, and today we're going to be doing kind of the same thing you guys have seen in the last couple fishing videos I have put out. We're just going to be doing some pond hopping today. Now, the reason we're still doing this is the weather has been nuts here. It's still like, it's like 45 degrees right now, so the bass haven't been able to move up really yet in the bigger bodies of water. So we're going to be sticking to the small bodies of water for probably another week or two until we get the boat ready, and we're going to be start hitting some lakes bigger pits and places with a lot bigger fish but hopefully today we can locate some maybe three four or five pounders so that's what we're hoping for today um, i hope you guys like this new camera i hope it's a lot better than the gopro even though i think we're going to be switching to the gopro here in a second when we do some fishing stuff and i'll make sure to tune back in with you guys with this camera if i get into a nice fish i forgot the big tripod for this day. i just have the little goby thing today so let's get down there try to catch some fish in these uh not so great conditions I guess we kind of worked half the pond already <clears throat> and nothing so far, which doesn't surprise me because it's cloudy and 45 degrees out. But I was really hoping we'd get something, but this is kind of the bad end of this pond. And we're going to be hitting probably five or six different ponds today, so I think we'll find a bite somewhere, but I just don't know about here. Today I am using, like I said, the chatter baits, but I'm going to start off with just to cover a lot of water. Uh, right now I'm using a white and chartreuse chatterbait with one of these gold blades. Paired that on a Shimano Sitica with 14 pound fluorocarbon. Just All right guys, so about two minutes into the little trip today, I uh, busted out the new Casitas, the Shimano Casitas. Little did I know I didn't have the brakes adjusted very well. And I cast it into the wind with a Cinco. Now here's what I'm dealing with now. Ridiculous. <sighs> All right, well, 20 minutes later, literally 20 minutes, I finally got it. You guys will never believe what just happened. <sighs> just tied on a little KVD square bill. Turns out I cut a little deeper than I thought, and when I casted, it hit some line, and it just flew straight off the pole. Fish on. Jeez, my drag is really low. Oh yeah, decent fish. Oh, oh my gosh, in my line, in my other line. Whoa, talk about a two and one guys. Yes, this is my square bill line. Sweet, thank you bass. Awesome fish. Boy, he wasn't messing around either. Hey guys, here's another look at that guy I just caught there. Definitely a respectable bass. Pretty long guy. Probably about two, two and a half pounds. We'll definitely take that. And we're gonna get that square bill back now too. Luckily, he took it and ran deep. He was right up by shore, he took it and ran deep. And I think he got tangled up in that line I just lost. But one more look at that guy. Yeah, baby. We'll take that all day. All right, so let's get a release on this guy here. The fish guys. Little guy. But hey, we will take it. Switch on DIC today. Alright, there is the proof. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's getting windy. This pond isn't producing. We're gonna move down to uh Ankeny, Iowa to fish some of the public ponds down there. This goose is happy to see me leave. Boy, this thing's fighting hard. Oh yeah. Look at this guy go. There we go. Check that out guys. I think I stopped the camera right in the middle of that hook set. So I apologize for that. Nice little bass though. Alright guys, so there's a the fish I just got there. Another decent fish, you know, probably this one's probably right at two pounds. Finally, guys, we got another one. This one's bigger than the last one. Ooh, get up here. Finally. Jeez, we've been beating this pond. 
I've thrown these chatter baits now. I've thrown Cinco's. I threw a jig for a little bit. And finally, the old chatter bait comes through. Hi right, guys, here's that number three. Give you one more look at him before we get him back in the water. Good fish. We'll take this all day. All right, guys, I just got to jump in here real quick. I was editing this, and it kind of just jumped. Like, I was at that pond. I caught that last fish, and then we just jumped to this new pond. I don't know what happened. I recorded something, but it didn't didn't save or didn't go through, so I don't know what happened. But here's the last pond we went to, and we finally got a really good fish for the first time this year. Fish on. It's a giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. Oh, God. This is a giant. Come on, baby. It's a freaking toad. Holy crap. Oh yeah, it's a toad. Woo. Come on, baby, don't jump. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down. I'm gonna... F oh God, it's a toad. He's barely hooked. Yes! Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo! Yes! That feels good. Oh my gosh. Check out that fish, guys. That is a absolute toad. Audio is kind of garbage. The NRC is right behind us, but check out this fish. Oh, yes. I'm so excited, guys. This is a freaking toad. Look at that bad boy. Look at the belly on that thing. So excited, guys. It's like 40 degrees outside. Uh, the water temperatures are very low 40s, high 30s. Well, down here, they're probably low 40s, but I just landed a toad. Yes. Whew. All right, guys. We're going to get this bad boy measured but it is oh man it's a good fish definitely not what i expected i'm guessing right around probably five and a half i'm gonna say six guys and what the heck guys for some reason my brand new berkeley scale worked just fine earlier on that one fish and now it will not turn on this is brand new come on berkeley but we're gonna go ahead and say this is an easy five pounder guys i've caught my biggest is a 9.2, and I mean, I've caught a lot of five, or not a lot, but I've caught some five pounders. So we're going to call this one five and a half, I think. It's just at 22 and a quarter inches, so it's a long fish, and it is a good fish. All right, let's get the release on this bad boy. Oh, yeah, look at that big girl go. Sweet. Yes. All right, guys, so we, I got to jump in here again. Um, I don't know what happened. My GoPro didn't record. I kind of, I didn't catch any more fish at this pond, but I just kind of, I don't remember even really what I said, but I recorded a little bit, cast around the pond a little bit more. I think I kind of went into detail what I caught that fish on. I caught that fish on a chatterbait. Now, it's what you saw me catch. I think two of the other three fish on was that white and chartreuse chatterbait, but I don't know why the GoPro did not record that, but you didn't miss anything. So now basically what we're gonna go into is I end up driving down to Bass Pro because I had to return some stuff and I needed to buy some stuff. All right guys, here we go. All right guys, so a lot of people ask me what is the, your, the best bed baits for bass. I'm gonna kind of get some stuff today. Um, lizards are great, especially light colored ones. Right there, those are four inch. These are the six inch. I'm gonna go with the four inch in white. I have a lot of natural color, so I need a little bit brighter color. Um, white is a very good spawn bait. Oh, here's the best deal at Bass Pro for sure, is the Cinco's. I just got a pack of the 50 last time, but I'm gonna, and I have a white already, so I really don't need Cinco's actually, but I'm gonna get some anyways. Um, comment below what your guys' favorite Cinco color is too. Bluegill color. Here's the section we came for guys, right here. Boom, chatterbait. So that one I caught on today, I already have, well, we're gonna pick one more up. This is the uh, one I was using today. This is the 3 8 ounce blue and black. What are these? I don't know what the heck these are. The Freedom Chatterbaits from Z-Man. 
There's eight bucks. No thanks. I'll stick with the four ninety nine one. There's the pro chatter baits. I've heard about those before. Other than that, I'm trying to look for some different colors, guys. Um, what's this one here? I don't know, but I dig it. That's a half ounce. Don't need a half ounce. There's a three eighths ounce. That's a bluegill color too. Kind of get one of those. And I think that's all the chatterbaits we get. Now we're gonna get some line. I'm gonna get some monofilament, not mono, fluorocarbon line. Sounds weird for me saying that because I used to hate fluorocarbon, but those are nice too. Little easy skirts. Let's go try to find the line. Another thing I'm getting today is some of these reel protectors for the casting reels to keep them scratch free, dust free. Because a lot of times I go down like gravel roads and stuff and we like to keep those things nice and clean. I definitely need some of this stuff too. Like a little rod organizer. I think we'll leave that for next time. All right, now here's the thing I never would ever buy. Said I would never buy, but I'm already going against my word by being here, so. We're gonna get ourselves a Whopper Popper. I'm not gonna be using it for a while, but what color do you guys think? Yeah. Ooh, that's like a loon. A loon color. Jesus. You're gonna kick me out of here. Did I do it? I'm thinking so. I'm gonna do a frog kind of color too. There we go. Yeah, let's do a little frog color. I didn't even know they put bluegill on that little pond. That's freaking sweet. Now you gotta do this every time you come to Bass Pro right here. You gotta do it. So I guess that's all right. We end up paying 44 bucks of all of that going to a freaking Whopper Plopper. 12.99 of it going to Whopper Plopper. But uh, didn't get much today, guys. Basically, just wanted to get there and get some fluorocarbon line. Picked up a couple packs of Cinco's, some um, lizards, the Whopper Plopper, and a couple other things. We can go through that when I get home. But I think we're gonna call it a day now. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go home, grab some supper, and edit this video to get it out for you guys tonight. I really like editing and getting these videos out the same day if possible. And today's gonna be kind of fun because I get to play around with this camera and the GoPro footage. So should be uh, should be a little bit of a challenge, but I think it's gonna turn out pretty well. So if you don't see me again in this video, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs>